Hi, Rob here. Today we're going to be connecting PEX pipe to a buried PVC pipe in close quarters. Let me show you. A few months ago, I put in some uh, PVC along the perimeter of our uh, little grassy area. And then we put down some dirt and planted seed and we've got, right, I have a irrigation uh, head, sprinkler head in each corner. One there, one over here, one about there, and then one there. But as you can see, the middle is dry. For whatever reason, these ones in the corner aren't getting to the middle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dig down right here. It's only down about five, six inches and put a PVC T in the line and then run PEX over to a sprinkler head right there. And what I did, this, this represents the PVC that I'm gonna be digging down to. What I did is I took a PVC 90 and I cut not quite 50% uh, of it off. So when I get down to the PVC pipe and then I can pop this PVC T over it and I have the adhesive and whatnot. And then I actually got some uh, hose clamps. I'm gonna slip them over the line. I'd rather be safe than sorry, but for the purpose of this, I'm gonna slip them over and tighten them one on each side of my T. And then I'll either put in a, a straight out fitting to connect to the PEX or a 90, depending how big the hole is that I dig down and you know how tight it is to work probably end up using the 90. But that's the plan. Dig down, tap in, and connect. I've got my hole dug. Kind of dark, but as you can see, I'm on top of the pipe. It's uh, like six and a half inches deep and four inches wide. What I realized, I'm not gonna be able to this clamp there's just not enough room to get my hand in there so what I did is I went to Home Depot and I got these zip ties so they're just they're huge this is 36 inches this is the shortest big one I found so I'm gonna put my 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 tee that I've cut I'm gonna get adhesive on it and pop it over the line and then zip tie it let it dry and I also I got a, a plug just to temporarily Plug the tea so I don't get dirt and stuff in there. And I'm gonna use this Christie's Purple Primer and then the Christie's uh, Red Hot Blue Glue. So I'll put it together and then show you what it looks like. I've got, a, I've got the fitting installed, popped over the top or slipped over the top. Lots of glue on it. And then I got my zip ties down around and I'm gonna tighten them and then let everything dry overnight. And I'll drill a hole and connect my 90 degree pecs, connect the pecs, and then dig a hole and run over to the middle of the yard where that spike is at, and that's where the sprinkler head will go. What I did is I used this two by four as a straight edge over to where I'm gonna put the new sprinkler head. And then I used my shovel just to make a uh, cut into the earth. The plan will be to spread it apart and lay the PEX tubing over here, and then I'll dig a little hole for the sprinkler head. It's been four days since I glued the T fitting onto the pipe. I got sidetracked with other things, so I'm ready to unscrew the cap, drill a hole into the PVC pipe, and then put in my uh, 90 degree threaded PEX connection and then run PEX line through this trench out to the new sprinkler head in the middle of the lawn. And here we go, it's all ready to connect the PEX up. Half inch bit on my drill. And I'm gonna put this right here. I hope you can see I got my hole drilled and the water is draining from the other sprinkler heads. So we're ready to put the T in, connect the PEX. 
I've got the 90 threaded in. I think I called it a T in the previous clip. Sorry about that. So it's all threaded in and I'm ready to get the PEX down into this trench and make the connection. Let me tell you how I made this trench. I believe I showed this earlier in the video, but I just took my shovel and stepped on it all the way down and wiggled back and forth. It went all the way down one side, that direction, and then I came back and I turned it the other way and went down and wiggled it. That way it opened up a nice little trench line, ditch line that I can uh, easily lay my X in and then just cover it back up. So let me lay that, make the connection. I've got it all installed. Got the PEX in, have the new sprinkler head in the center, and then I put a little dirt in my uh, ditch line and stomped it in. I'm gonna turn the water on and see how it does. There we go. Let's get the lines all pressurized. Yeah, that's going to work really nice. Get the middle of the yard. I wasn't getting any water before. So, I think we're good to go. I hope you learned a new trick to install a uh, T in close quarters. Good luck on your project. To view more of my videos, click here. To be notified when I release a new video, click here to subscribe to my channel.